This is all that's left, guys. This is all that's left. Hello, guys, and Marchy here, and today we are playing some more Timber and Stone. Today is a sad day. A very sad day in Timber and Stone. Sad day indeed. Because we lost some great men. We lost our amazing miner. We lost our beautiful woodcutter. But they did not die in vain. Because these guys are going to avenge their deaths. So, if you remember last episode, I kept seeing messages like, Goblin has killed, Boar, Goblin has killed, whatever, Goblin has killed, your mom. But, uh, you see, now, the Goblin, they kept intruding on our space and getting closer and closer. So, I sent them out, and he killed one, but I didn't realize that the Goblin had a friend. <laughs> Sorry, this is very emotional. So the Goblin's friend came up from behind my guy and killed him. And it was awful. And then the woodcutter was out cutting wood the next day. And, and, and then he saw a spider, so he killed the spider. And then, after he killed the spider, he, whoops, sorry, let me get something going at least now. <laughs> after he killed the spider, he killed the goblin, because there was a goblin there too. And now I have him running home, because he's weak. And he fights another spider, and dies. So we're down to four men here, but after doing some research on the wiki, I've realized that you can get more men on your team. You can recruit new guys. So that's exactly what we're going to do here today, uh, or in a few days. But new people won't come to your place, your town, they won't come live with you, unless... Uh, first you have to have a road, and the road has to reach the... Let's make some cobblestone. Oh, he has to go to the stonemason bench. It's going to be hard to get by on four guys, but it also means we have less mouths to feed. Uh, the... What am I saying now? Oh, also, look at the completed house. This is what we look like now. Uh, I started to build a road here. See design? See how this road is kind of outlined here? I don't know if they actually started building the road, but this just started to turn over. I don't know how to build roads. But we have to have a road inside our palace. This is the wiki's words. A road inside your palace. Touching... No, 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 here. Let's see. A hall in your palace touching a road that touches the edge of the map. Then people will come to trade with you, and you will get migrants. Migrant... Migrants. Uh... What is the word? Is it migrants? Migrant sounds weird when I say it. Basically, people will come immigrate to your area. Uh, now I also have smelted up a bunch of stuff. Stone hammer has broken. Uh, let's just go to tools. I don't want to run out of stone hammers because that'd just be a shame. Stone hammer. We have five. Okay, nothing to worry about there. Let's go crafting. Oh, we have five tin ore. So let's make some of those. Go make them blacksmith. Uh, I'm going to be very careful now. I don't want to lose any more men. But, let me say, uh, I have some new goals. Okay? I have some new goals. We have one gold or which is cool. one gold ingot, rather. Um, some of my new goals, let's look down in the mines here. This is as low as the mines go. Uh, my new goals are, we're going to have four guys, right? One guy is going to be a at all times a stonemason making cobblestone another will be a builder laying down cobblestone so we have a defensive wall another guy will be mining stone so we can make cobblestone and then a fourth guy because we only have four now will be farming and we're gonna keep this guy as our farmer uh, he's on a scheduled sleep said he sleeps all night and works all day uh, I think that works I'm just testing out the scheduled sleep on him I've never used the feature before so I'm not sure how oh wait did those lights go out no they're still producing light uh, I haven't, I'm not sure how well scheduled sleep works, I'm just trying it out on him. So if it works, then I'll do it, but all the other guys are just set to go to sleep when they get tired. But going to sleep when you get tired is dangerous, because they could just go to sleep when they're out in the fields. Let's make him go back inside. Actually, you know what, let's make him remove this road. Uh, look. 
So I guess the road just kind of lays itself over time, maybe. Maybe, like, as they walk over it. I'm not 100% sure. We have 22 wood, which will keep us going for a little while here. But let's change you up. You're going to be our blacksmith. Just scratch that. You're going to be our miner. Let's go stone pickaxe. Um, get down in these mines. Uh, design, dig mine. I think that we're just going to start mining like like this just mining in a straight line there we go he will be mining that will take him a really long time to mine like we set him up for probably a couple, at least a few minutes there he's probably he's also going to go to sleep down there sorry I can't speak um hmm let's go to you preferences go down to sleep so he's scheduled to sleep at night midnight and late night so he's gonna he's only halfway through his sleep schedule because it's night so he's gonna stay asleep for a long time don't worry guys we're gonna pull through it's tough times but we're gonna pull through how fatigued are you oh yeah Clifton see the main man of the group used to be uh I have trouble remembering their names sometimes but the guy that was the miner the pro miner he was like a level five or six miner he used to be the pro in the group okay Just, uh, go down see look how much he has to mine he has to mine all the way back there it's gonna take him a long time but uh he used to be our pro miner and then he died and then edgar he was the main man for a while uh, was that a name edgar or eager edgar probably edgar makes more sense uh i did finish off the roof here i like the way this house looks so i'm just gonna look at it for a little while edgar was the main man but then edgar was out cutting wood and as you know he died edgar died so now uh the main man is clifton Clifton is wounded. He has fought some battles. And as we collect more resources, we're going to become a bigger and bigger target. Like we could zoom out. Yeah. You can tell. Okay, level 2. They're going to be leveling up like crazy because I have to redo all the beginning levels with them. But we got a little settlement here. Things are going good. There's our mine. There's our thing. Uh, so, let's dive right into this. Uh, I'm going to wait out the night here. I'll come back when it's no longer night because I don't want to make you guys sit through the night. Plus, I'm just going to continue to make uh, cobblestone, let these guys sleep, and mine. So I'll be back when we get some more done. Hey, guys, I'm back. Let's restart the game, unpause it. Uh, I know that I said I'd come back when night is over, but some stuff's getting done. So first, let's look in the mines. Let's go down here. He has been getting resources. Look at this. He's been getting copper, tin, uh, coal... He's been getting like a lot of good stuff, and again, I told you that it would take a while. Look how much we set him up to dig. And I'm gonna have him dig out pretty far, not too far, pretty far, and then branch mine. So I'm gonna do like a pretty classic Minecraft branch mine, and then I might start a new mine eventually. But that mine's gonna be huge. Mine out a lot of space there. But, uh, I figured I would come back because this guy is ready to work again. Um,. I don't know who does the roads. I was looking into it. I think it might be the engineer. Like, which profession? Uh, if you head up over here and look at this. Oh, the forager's awake. I'm actually going to have him. I checked around, like, the surroundings. Uh, let's go gather berries. I'm going to have him gather berries. You know, he's awake. He's ready to go. Uh, he's weak. This is Clifton. Yeah, this is Clifton. He's the... Oh, he harvests two food, which is good. Uh, he's like our main man farmer, Chuck. Uh, he's kind of like the, he's like the Dale of the group, if you're looking at this from a Walking Dead perspective, which I started to do after everything went bad. Uh, he's like a Dale of the group, he's kind of like the voice of reason. He, uh, you know, he's the good guy. Um, Clifton, he's like Shane, or Rick, kinda. Uh, Edgar was really Rick, but Edgar's dead. Um, and I think that I might go further with that, that's a fun analogy. Uh... I'm going to have him gather a few berries, not anything crazy. I hope that he doesn't destroy this bush. Oh, he's destroying bushes like crazy. I bet that it's... Oh, he's a level 3. Okay. Now, it is really dark out here, and I don't want to lose him again. But, I just remembered we're not going to lose anyone anymore. Because, let's select him. I know how to toggle between people. I'm learning this game. Uh... Let's look at professions. Who would who would be the guy who builds the road? 
the herder? No. The engineer? Maybe. You know what? Clifton, we're gonna mess around with you. We're gonna make you an engineer. Now, try and build this road. Um, no, it's not the engineer. Let's see, trader? Will the trader build the road? Because that would make sense. Some sense. Not too much sense. Uh, builder? Builder would probably build the road. No. Okay, but I'm actually going to keep him as a builder because I want to get to work on a wall. Some sort of wall. Um, it'd be a shame to build the wall and then have to expand it, but I think that's what we're going to do because I don't want to make it tiny, but I can't make it too big either. So let's go build. Uh, where's cobblestone 24? Uh, okay, this tree's going to be on the outside, so we're going to make it right here. We're going to make it too wide. Oh, whoops. Too wide. Uh, one taller than, like, like that big. Okay. And it's going to be the wall that keeps out the bad guys. Now, let's see. Are you awake? No, you're out. And I think that, so let's look back on this. Scheduled sleep, I think, is the way to go. I'd rather have them sleeping at night. Uh, and all sleeping together, I think, is a big one that we need to think about. Uh, I think that if they work, if they, I think they could work from dusk to dawn. So, oh, whoops. Um, he, I'm actually going to have him sleep now, because it is late night. And should he sleep at dusk, or should he be awake? That's the question that I have. Because he slept too long last night. He was asleep for too long. If he sleeps from dusk to dawn, that's too long. Oh, Clifton's hammer keeps breaking. Why is that? Oh, but I think that we have a few hammers, right? Uh, we have three. Let's add two to the queue, because we're going to be building like crazy. Um, that is not important. Take that off. And we're out. Okay. Uh, go resources, go building cobblestone. We have 176 stones, so we're just going to make 100 cobblestone. Oh my god, you're going to be the best stone mason, stone mason in the world. But, yeah, we got the four of them on the positions I said that we would have them on. Uh, the miner, I think that he's conked out down here, right? Yeah. Uh, up here, farmer, farming away, doing what he does. He's a level 6 farmer, so he gets his job done. Uh, let's actually just look at his fatigue. He's only a little bit fatigued. Uh, I want to get, I like, like when they sleep inside, at least until we have this wall up around the outside. Uh, builder, what is your fatigue at Clifton? You're pretty fatigued. Oh, I wish they would just call it energy. I don't know. Maybe fatigue's a good word. I'm trying to think now, what word would I use? Okay, good. That's going to go that way. Just go build cobblestone put those two down wow he broke oh no Hank Hill's hammer broke yeah okay and now see we're gonna make it long and I suspect that eventually we're gonna want it longer than this but just for starters that's how long the wall is gonna be this is gonna be like the Great Wall of China take two okay Great Wall of China take two what People keep breaking stone hammers. They don't know how important they are. Okay, resources, 95 cobblestone to go. And let's look at our raw resources. Where are we looking at? Okay, I oh, we got two more iron. Good. I don't know what you can really do with gold. Let's look into it. Yeah, like, what can you... Oh, can you make golden armor? Why would I need gold? Can I make a golden sword? A gold-tipped arrow? No. Can I make a golden pickaxe or something? Like, I mean, iron is super useful. You need that for a bunch of stuff. But what do I need gold for? I want to herd animals eventually. Cliff, uh... What's his name? What's his name? I don't know. Chuck! Chuck is Dale. What? Why don't I just name them? Like, what they are. Um... Information. Chuck... It will be Dale. Confirm. 
Uh, you're gonna be Rick for now. I might end up changing your name. Okay. You I'm actually back you're here more with Shane. them all named or close to. We got Shane, cause he's like he's a he's withdrawn from the group. He's he's the fighter. He's the guy who's gonna fight. This guy's lost. He's always like far away from the group. He's he's off to the side. He's Carl. <laughs> Uh, this guy is the guy working in the farm, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to switch him. He is not going to be Dale. He is going to be Herschel. Oh my god, how do you spell Herschel? Herschel. He is Herschel, because Herschel was a farmer, and Herschel is a farmer, and Herschel kind of replaced Dale in the series, like he's the new Dale after Dale died, but this guy's gonna be Dale. Because he's he's kind of like the builder, and Dale was always fixing his RV. So this guy's going to be Dale. Yes. Okay, now we got them all named. So now we know who's who, at least. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, I like the names that they start them with, though. Like, those were decent names. Uh, I know that Generic B, when he did this series, I don't watch it anymore. Not because I don't like Generic B, just because I don't have time. Uh, but... When he did this series, or when he does this series, he names them after Minecrackers, and I think that's just a genius idea. I'd name them after Mineshafters, but I don't want to be a copycat. So let's see. Oh. Usually you can look at the farm. I want to know how fatigued he is, because he's... Herschel's kind of like our test guy, right? Like I've said this before, but I'll say it again. He's our test guy. We're testing out scheduled sleep on him. Uh, how are you doing? Can you get back to mining anytime soon, Carl? Uh, his fatigue's kind of... Hi. So we still have some more to get done. Um, let's see. I'm just wondering where'd we draw the line? If I cut it down right here and then over, I'm thinking that the farm is gonna go over to. Uh, speaking of farm, let's go to farm. Let's get. Oh, that's build. Let's go to farm. See if we have any seeds. Oh, we got two new carrot seeds. That's the carrot farm. But I don't I only want them to be that long, so I'm gonna start a new carrot farm right here. Let's go back to farm corn. The corn farm's as long as it gets, so we'll start a new corn farm. We are starting like the second wave of farms. And the bigger the farms, the better. Uh turnips. Those are turnips there as long as they get. The only one that we can add on to is potato. We don't have any potato seeds to add on to. Good. So I expect the farms to be really large, take up a lot of space. Dale's only a level four. So and plus I want to put in like two more buildings. I'm thinking that this is gonna be the carpentry building. Like right now it's the multi-use building, right? But this is gonna be the carpentry building. Right? And then we're gonna have a forge building. Right now we're doing all of our forging out over here behind the carpentry building. But I think that I'm gonna put the forge building right over here. And then over here, I'm going to put like a main town hall kind of building, put some beds in there maybe, stuff like that. Uh, but we're obviously not going to build those buildings. We're just building the wall, seeing how big we need to make the wall. So we're going to take it around this tree here. How do I make it two? I want to make it two wide. There we go. Oh, turn it. I meant to make that taller too. Um, yeah, we don't want anyone to be able to walk over this, so it's gonna have to be a lot taller there. But uh, that's a start. That's a start. When I play offline now, I'm gonna be more conscious not to die, <laughs> per se. I'll do that. We need more potato seeds. That's what we need. Get up that potato production. Come on, Herschel. 18 food. That's not bad. And they all just ate. See, it went down to 14. They all eat like in waves, and since they're, we're, we used to lose six every time they ate, we would lose six food. Now we only lose four. That's the one upside. Maybe losing them is a blessing in disguise. Okay, we lose them, it gives us a chance to get our food supplies up, get ourselves sorted out. Um, I'm not gonna play too much here, but I don't want to come back into next episode at nighttime.